Welcome back for more Call of Duty video, ladies and gents. Hope you're doing well. My name is Lewis, aka Man Your Man here. So today I just want to showcase some of the uh, latest Call of Duty title. This is Call of Duty Vanguard Alpha testing, currently live on the PlayStation. I'm playing this on the PlayStation 5 at the moment uh, in 120 FPS in 1080p because the PlayStation 5 do not support 1440p unfortunately on my monitor but that being said champion heal you can play this in duo or you can play this in trios which the dev has recently added in and this trio mode is what I'm currently showcasing uh, I only play you know the mode each time and in trios I, I very quickly Manage to get used to all the all, all the movement the gunplay and everything because it's so close to Modern Warfare 2019 this game is good, you know, uh, that's my initial thought so This is it champion heal is is, is is actually a really good competitive mode and at the start you get to buy stuff you can get to buy perks you get to buy weapon you get to buy kill streaks you get to buy um i think what else you get to buy a lot of other things using your money you can upgrade your gun that's the one you can upgrade your gun and this is just like a very uh, this is the core buying mechanics for warzone and it brought into this champion heal uh, uh, 3v3 or 2v2 depending on the mode that you play and you can strategize how you want to do this. So with this, I'm playing with random and I'm just kind of checking out all the buy station and see, you know, what's going on. I bought the full armor plate and after that, I can't really buy anything else. So I just started to um, have a little test around with my 1911. I was trying to um, go for the mounting mechanics, but they have kind of disabled it. Um, in here, as you can see, I, I was trying to mount, that's why I was shooting the uh, wooden planks. So, champion heal, you basically get team up with two randoms or your two friends. And as a squad, you have to beat out other squad. And you have a maximum life of 18 in trios and I think 12 in duos. And you need to make sure that you stay alive. So, unfortunately, when I was playing this trio, one of um, one of the player disconnected so for this whole thing we were 2v3 we we're already at a disadvantage so that little thing that I just picked up right there is um, it's basically a, you can gain a life so they're always in the middle of the map at the start and uh, you gain a life if you go pick it up so the gunplay in general is very fun, it's very good. Um, this is where a new system, a destructible cover. So this is more scripted around the map. Um, not everything can be destruct destructible. Um, so I managed to shoot all the planks off, but you know, he spotted me pretty much straight away. So um, he got the best of me at that end. Um, so yeah, slow first round, very slow first round. This is definitely not my best map. There are, there are four maps surrounding this champion here and you just basically rotate around them. Almost got killed there, but my buddy got my back. So when you lose a match, you don't get anything. If you lose or you draw a match, you don't get anything bonus. But if you win the match, so getting the more kill than the other team, you will get some money bonus and money bonus is great. And what I just did there is I just upgraded my uh, my MP40. You can upgrade your weapon on the fly, and you will get the, the you know the sight, the red dot sight. You will get FMJ rounds. You can get um, maybe uh, like lower recoil. You can get a firing flaming rounds later when you upgrade the weapon, increase the damage, and all that good stuff. So. Hallelujah, this is where I started popping off um, in this round. I really like this map, but hallelujah to Vanguard that jump shot, drop shot, all of these is back in. Because one of the thing in Cold War is that you cannot drop shot unless you have a special attachment. You cannot jump shot at all because once you've done a jump, you have like a slight delay being on, on the ground. You can't like run or you can't duck straight away. It's really stupid. 
So we have a massive game there. We've got nine kills and the guy at the end was just very unfortunate. One second left and I literally just shot him in the head and got that kill. So this is the third round. It's still just me and one of my random buddy, um, just two of us taking, taking on three others, upgrading the gun even more. Yeah, the map is um, relatively small. Oh, this is becoming like an explosive city. Uh, using the wall, wall mount mechanic. So the wall mounting mechanic doesn't seem as strong as Modern Warfare. Because in Modern Warfare 2019, when you mount, your gun literally just do not move. But in that, I have to still correct my gun a little bit um, to make it basically shoot where I wanted to shoot. So that was a little bit surprising because I thought, oh, as soon as I mount, I'll be fine. I don't need to um, adjust my aim. But no, I, I actually did have to adjust my aim, my recoil a little bit. So, yeah, so all of these red name tag is very visible. Is is quite alarming that it's just right in your face. Um, but that's another group round for me. Got a few kills there. And we are creeping into the top. Um... And this is the mid-game buy round. So if you got money, you go you, you go for it. Go for broke. And the, the thing about this is I was trying to think about should I get the STG or should I get the shotgun? The STG 44 is really good, um, as I heard. But I wanted to do something different because I upgraded my MP40 already. I don't want it really to... Uh, an SMG and an assault rifle, I didn't really want to do that, so I was trying out the shotgun. So, the problem with the buy round is that, this is one of my bad points, is I think the UAV is just too overpower. Um, as you can see on the minimap, I know exactly where they are. For $500 on your first match, you're only effective in the first match. But still, $500, that's a lot. So this is where I see that my buddy and I was just too close and we, we know where the red dot are. So I was, try I was trying to flank. And fortunately he got beaten up. He got, he got gang banged. And uh, someone behind me and I'm just like shotgun time. And the shotgun is sick. Like it is insane. Full, full auto. <laughs> it's like the street uh, sweeper in the Modern Warfare Warzone. It's, it's crazy. So I was looking at that... Um, plus one life little tag I managed to get that without any issue I know exactly where they are because I can see in the minimap and uh, that's it that's the last life for the Fox team and they have been eliminated by us so yeah uh, championship heal um, the good points the good thoughts that I have is that the gun looks and sound absolutely amazing um, you definitely need to learn how to control the recoil for each gun they not they're not all the same. Um, championship is very fun. Oh yeah, that was a bit of a bullshit. Um, they they shot me straight away. So, and this this is one of the problem. This is one of the biggest problem in Champion Hill is that this guy in uh, the house squad is all by himself because all the two two mates left the game or timed out. So yeah, it was it was literally just that one guy, just that one guy. Jaja um, running around with all the lives and stuff like that and that's the biggest problem in Champion Hill people leave mid game and um, whether or not they haven't get it going or they hate the mode and they just leave and it's like at the start one of our teammate timed out and they just left to me and one other mate so we always had two against three but yeah it just it's not fun when you going against like one against three or once against two um, so that's something that they need to address and that's something that that's why I think having two other mates or one other mate to team up you have the guarantee of that your teammate is not gonna leave and you always know that okay it's always gonna be 3v3 or at least you can take an advantage of 3v2 so that's one of the biggest negatives that I have at the moment. People just quitting mid-match. And again, this guy in Charlie's squad. I think they only have two squads left. So we, we fought them before and they had three before. And um, yeah, so massive problem. And it, it kind of affected me later later on when I was trying to get that win. Um, but hey-ho. 
So another bad thing is that the uh, or the audio, the audio is can be quite inconsistent because I sometimes I can't hear the footstep, but then when I listen into the kill cam, I can that kind of thing. It's, it's really it's really strange. Um, as I mentioned before, the UAV is absolutely too OP for five hundred dollar. Just even just for one game, I think that's too OP. Um, and in duo, the reason why I'm not showing you duo is because it it was literally the first two rounds I was just running around and I couldn't see anyone because everyone plays so conservative in duos. Um, it can be a, a bit campy, so that's something that they I don't know how they will address it because it is the point of Champion Hill. Um, but yeah, definitely annoying. So in this one, I bought an extra life. I bought um, my full armor. My gun is not fully upgraded yet, but I can't buy anything else. But I also, just at the end of the other round, uh, the last round, I saw that my buddy have timed out. So I'm more by myself um, in this last round. We, we're in a good position, you know, we've got four life left and we're against people with uh, seven life. Um, so we, we could we, we could have done it. But this is actually an absolute mayhem. This is just me now. As you can see on the minimap, there's no gr no more green. And guess what? After a buy round, they know exactly where I am. They know exactly where I am. So, yeah. So this is just me trying to stay alive, trying to be campy. You, you see? They know exactly where I am. Um, so, yeah. That's that's one of the biggest problems uh, with the UAV and also pe players qu quitting mid-game. But let's turn this back into the positive. Um, like I said, the graphics is good. 120 frame works well. Uh, I'm playing on the PlayStation 5, as I said at the beginning. You can upgrade the gun on the fly, uh, which is really fun. And uh, you can, when you pick up ammo as well, you reload your gun straight away, that kind of thing. The buy station is a very interesting addition. It brings in more kind of strategy, so I really like that. And uh, yeah, it's, it's great fun. It will be absolutely a blast um, and get a little bit sweaty with your friends as well. So I managed to stay alive, just just having just one life. So I'm not. I, I know that I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna win at all. You know, I, I really wanted to go for the third place at least, um, but unfortunately, the buddy that was with me, he left and. Um, luckily this round they didn't have any UAV so I managed to stay alive a little bit longer so that's really is it um, about Vanguard Alpha very positive I was trying to get a kill with my shotgun again um, so that's why I just I just started to pull it out I, I know I was gonna die anyway um, so yeah overall very positive on Vanguard um, a very fun game uh, no I'm looking forward to it actually, you know, I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to see what they do with Warzone as well. So that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Click the like button and put a smile on my face. Subscribe to my channel for more things Call of Duty and any, and any other game that I play. Stay safe out there, keep calm, and video game.